What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about plunger buttons. So essentially there are two types of plunger button. The cheaper end ones is adjusted with Allen wrench to increase and decrease the tension of the plunger button. The second one is the micro adjustable plunger buttons which you can just use your hand to adjust the knobs to increase the and decrease the tension of the plunger button. So in XLR we actually have a variety of plunger buttons. Uh, we have the Supra Cartel Supra button, the Venus plunger button, Decat plunger button which is micro adjustable by hand, the Shibuya plunger button which needs to be adjusted with an Aleron, the Fivix again micro adjust. We have two models of the Fivix plunger button, the 740 and the 540 plunger button, both micro adjustable. Then we have the Weawis the new Weawis plunger button, which is micro adjustable, quite a heavy build actually. And then the all time favorite, the biter plunger button, which is micro adjustable. So, after you have done the alignment for the bow, you can now set up your arrows and your plunger for your center shot. So, setting up the arrows, you will just have to make sure that your plunger and your arrow sits in the center. As you can see, it's on the center of the arrow and the plunger. Next, you'll do the center shot. If you see closely, my arrow is on to the left side of the string. Yeah. So that's how you set up the center shot for your bow. So now you guys know how to set up the center shot for the breaker bow with the plunger button. Next, we're going to talk about how do you determine whether the plunger button is too stiff or too soft for the bow setup. For this, you'll need six arrows. Three fletch, three unfletch. We call this bear shaft. So you're gonna shoot the arrows at 18 meters. So at 18 meters, you're gonna shoot your fletch arrows in the center of the face. Simple. Next, you're gonna shoot your bear shaft arrows your bear shaft arrows, you're still going to aim in the center. However, if your bear shaft arrows land to the left side of the target face, it means for a right-handed shooter, it means that your arrows are too stiff. Then you'll need to reduce tension. Reduce tension for the plunger button. In another case, if your bear shaft for a right-handed shooter, if your bear shaft lands on the right side of the face, you need to increase your tension on the spring. How do you increase and decrease the tension of the spring? Simple. Remember the screw that needs to be adjusted with the Allen key. Uh, you just have to tighten it to increase the tension and reduce the tension by loosening the screw. So now if you guys are wondering if you already, let's say, loosen the tension of the spring and your arrows are still to the left or the, or the right of the target face, then it's either the arrow is too soft or too stiff. Too soft, too stiff, too soft, too stiff. Simple as that. Um, you probably need to change your arrows uh, to a stiffer or lower spine depending on the situation. Hope you guys learned something from this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have further questions, leave it down in the comment section below or contact us on our Facebook page. Links in the description box below.